is 6 p.m. on February 27th. I'd like to open the meeting of the Woodbury Select Board. Call the meeting to order. Do we have any adjustments to the Select Board agenda as published? I have a little something, but I think it's better under public comments. Okay. Get to that. So hearing none, for adjustments to the select board agenda, the bills and payroll orders have been approved by signature of the select board and sent back to Brandy Smith for review. Unless there are others. With the exception of a signature for meeting minutes. Meeting minutes have not yet been reviewed and approved by the select board, but they will be immediately after the meeting. Okay. Sorry, Miss. I did send them to you. Yeah, but I haven't signed them yet. Okay. Because it was a draft. Okay. And I haven't seen this. Yeah, Michael. Michael doesn't get to sign it. I them wasn't, I wasn't here. here. So, so, but he still has to review them. Mm -hmm. So they'll be approved after the meeting. Our apologies. Time for public comment. I just have this uh, one email from uh, Steve Murphy. He wanted me to respond. Well, you guys got it too. But what he said, due to illness, I cannot attend the select board meeting, but I have to report on the following. The town government talk that he has set up at the town hall on March 4th, 845 to 945, which is just before the free town meeting, uh, informational meetings, and coffee and pastries at 8.30. Preceding the Freetown meeting, the library is promoting this event through posts on Front Porch Forum Library website and Facebook page and Woodbury Vermont Community Facebook page. Posters at the library, post office, community bulletin board, and town clerk's office and emails to town officials. Here is an excerpt from the text on the promotional poster. Inviting current and former town officials, volunteers, and members of the public to ask, answer, and discuss questions such as, what are the duties of the town officers? And what are the rules of procedure at town meeting? And to share information, ideas, and stories of hardiness, hardship, and humor relating to our town government and experiences in public service. This event will be informative, inspiring, and fun. There we go. Thank you. Yeah. Other public comment? Hearing none, well, we have the town clerk's report, Ms. Turkey. I attended the mock town meeting for the elementary school on Friday which was a lot of fun. <laughs> and they did quite a bit of um, conversation about why or why not they should be doing it. And I got that all typed up and sent back to Stephen. And he said he was also going to send it to Lisa somebody. MacArthur, the principal. Oh, the principal. Okay. Yeah. 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 And um, Tomorrow night, I will be at Hardwick Elementary School for the elementary school's voting. Oh. And then Wednesday night, I will be at Hazen for the Hazen Board's vote. Mm -hmm. That's for the informational School. meeting, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go with checklist to make sure that the ones that are voting have been checked off. Uh -huh. <laughs> Where, yeah. Will people be voting then? Because the only thing that they're voting on town meeting day are those the money articles. Right. So oh, they're so gonna be voting they have <laughs> like elections. Yep. Elections, yeah. Yeah. elections, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So Tuesday night's meeting starts at six o'clock, which will be in Hyrick Elementary School. And Wednesday, March first, will be at Hazen Auditorium at seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing that I have we received from Sol Solid Vermont Sol 
Central Vermont Solid Waste Management District, the report to fill out for this coming year. Great. Mm -hmm. so so I'll give that to you. I need that. Yep. Thank you. And that's about it. The fire extinguisher guy came today and checked out the fire extinguishers. Didn't have a problem with those. Mm -hmm. Great. And then um, something I thought about on the way up. What about snow removal for Saturday? So we'll have parking around the town hall. Mm -hmm. I guess that'll be me. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll, wait, we'll, wait, we'll wait and talk about that. Okay. Sure. Until we can uh, okay. get the, the town report. But, uh, oh, yeah, and we brought up some more fleet permits for you to sign too, Chris. Right there. Thank you. Please and thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll, I will work on those as soon as I possibly can. Okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. All set for town meeting? I believe so. You're going to get a bug loading booth? And... I think I'm going to have to have two. Two, two voting booths? I think so. So this is hmm. I think so. Huh. Why would that be? One of well, I'm going to have to have two checklists. True. And two boxes. Yep. Yeah. But the voting booths are only, you know, depending on how many people are voting at one time. Well, this is true. Yeah. Let it be safe than sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a golden rule. <laughs> Ms. Turkey? I think that's it. All right. Thank you. Ms. Smith, would you do the uh, town treasurer's report? Yes. In the past two weeks, uh, reports in front of you, balance sheet, financial statement, and due to and due from. Cash receipts, we took in $2,601, uh, which included... check from Vermont Conservation Revenue for Cranberry Meadow um, and then a check from the school district for a dollar for the lease payment for the fiscal year. Um, well, that's still holding up. It's, yeah, that's good. <laughs> uh, delinquent taxes we took in $578.04. I transferred 30000 from the money market over into our checking. Payroll totaled $8,583.68. Accounts payable $28,986.14. So over there in the mix, in front of you, Chris, with a yellow sticky note, um, in order for Greg Parker's credit card to be canceled, um, Yep. I'm not sure if that's the one or not. That doesn't look mm -hmm. No, that's the hard one. Oh, that's so hard that's, that's, one. That's, that's a second thing that TCM I mean. TCM Bank, I bet. Is yeah. it TCM Bank? Yeah. So, Sorry, I have a thick packet. Yes, it's a big file. file. To, to, to so yeah. they yeah. want it filled out, adding me to the account, and then Great. I will have control over canceling the account. Miss Brandy, can we meet and talk about this? Yeah. Just because... Some of these things, like our credit limit and yeah, our desired that has limit, to, yeah, um, will be increasing. Yeah, any limits. so it would, and I have. Um, yeah, we can chat. Yeah, after. if we could chat, yep. that would be great. Before I sign off on these things. Yep, absolutely. That would be lovely. They there, will also need minutes, so it's going to be a while before mm -hmm. I yep. end up sending all, everything together. No, I completely um, understand. The other thing is having the board sign on the contract for um, Hardwick Road Exchange. Any changes to the one we looked at two weeks ago? Other than removing draft? <laughs> nope. And we have twenty. We have next fiscal years up and rock and roll ready to go on. Maybe I'll send you a new, an updated um, letterhead. Because that one's got the old, the old website on it. <laughs> but this it's is okay. what we have right Where's now. It? No, it's yeah. time for now. Yeah, it's legal. Remind, remind myself to send you an Okay, so we have a uh, category of aid, equipment and labor, mm -hmm. our $3,000 fiscal agreement for 23, 
including Cape Brook Road, West Woodbury Road, Brown Hill Road. Yep. Sound appropriate? Yep. Okay. And one additional grading project. We have our insurance coverage. Okay. So I will discuss this with Alfie. Mm -hmm. Just briefly. And Absolutely. then sign it after uh, after the meeting. If I can raggle you for a minute. Or so. Sure. Is that right? yep. Before I sign off, I'll make sure that we're all comfortable. Fair enough? Fair enough. All right. Thank you. And I have that. I have some other things in here. But I'll talk to Alfie about those. All right. Ms. Smith, please keep going. I believe that is it. Okay. I have a... All right. So, Ms. Durkee, this CVS... Right, mm -hmm. waste management agreement. Yes. Right, that's already set. Is that the one where they're asking who's the representative going to be? They have to have a new representative. They do. They do, because I'm the current representative, but I'm not supposed to be. You're not what? Supposed to be? I'm not supposed to be as really? as the uh, select board member. We were oh, supposed okay, to have then. had another member. And so I acted as that representative, but we never, we never found anybody. Hmm. And as the chair of the select board, I'm not supposed to be that person. Oh, mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. Um, all right, let's uh, let's keep going. Okay. Ah. <sighs> We have the town commissioners, town road commissioners report. Okay. A um, few things to talk about. Great. One we just touched on was the hard whip contract. Um, I think it's all set. It's there's there should be no changes from what we wrote before. Um, Dave was out of he's out of town this week, so I couldn't touch base with him. I was just going to verify uh, a few things before, but. Um, I think we're good. I mean, pretty much what we talked about is what's on that paper, so mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think we're good there. Um, one thing that has come uh, come up that you guys, I don't know, maybe you're aware of, but um, Greg had a fall mm -hmm. in the town garage. Just heard about that. Yeah. Randy. Yeah. So he's out of work, has been out since Wednesday, it happened Wednesday, last week. Mm -hmm. um, and is he, have you talked to him? Is I he, talked to him Friday was the last time I spoke yeah. with him and he said he's got a pile of appointments and his hand is hurting real bad because I think he fell on it. Oh. And when he tried to catch himself, his yeah. hand went under him and... Uh, he did get it checked out. There was no mm -hmm. broken bones, um, so that's a plus. But uh, he's out of work, and I don't know for how long. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, we all know he's having an operation on the tenth, so he probably has some pre-op. He stuff does. To yes, do that's right. And with and with this incident, they're doing extra tests to make sure oh. mm -hmm. that. There's nothing that's going to stand in the way of the actual operation. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, so with that said, I've been using Dave Pike quite a bit, but he brought it to my attention very recently that he's got some health issues also. Mm -hmm. So he's not going to be able to complete our roster uh, as well. So I think. Wants to work less or not at all? Or well, he's he just got diagnosed with something and yeah. he's going through the, you know, he's got to do tests and yeah. got to do. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah. So he's working on that and I mean, he's, he still wants to, but he's just not sure how available he's going to be because of that. So right now he's not available? 
He is. He worked this morning, oh, okay. and he he'll, he said he'll work tomorrow morning. He's mm -hmm. still he's still plugging away, but mm -hmm. I think uh, he was just giving me a heads up that yeah. appointments are going to come, and there's going to be times that he's mm -hmm. not going to be available for us. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering, should we put an advertisement together? <laughs> I will. Uh, I'll volunteer. Okay. I mean, I've got. I'm still. I'm still. Uh, looking at a couple of options um, just by word of mouth, but I think it might be a good idea just to put yep. it out publicly. Yep, I put it out. But oh, I thought you uh, volunteered to drive the truck. Mike gets to drive the truck. Yeah, I'll. I'll you have I'll, a CDL? Yeah. You do? Oh. Yeah. All right, I'll call you tomorrow morning. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check him out on the truck. <laughs> um, so I can. I call yeah, it. well, I mean, I. So let me, uh, I'll take over. Until you figure something out, is that fair enough? Yeah. Well, I'm not. I'm not in desperate mode yet. Okay. Because Dave you're is in still. Mode, yeah. Until we figure something else out. Okay. Call me. Don't you have a job? I do. You're flexible. Flexible enough. Good. Yeah. But my kids have to go to school. Right. Right. So. Mm. Well, uh, that's that's so very I'll, good of I'll, you to offer I'll, that. I'll so take we'll a see. Yeah. Mm. Just let me know. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. That's really fair. Yeah. Okay. Um. So should we? Are you saying not to advertise? I think we should advertise. That's what I think. But I, I that's mean, I, a conversation that we'll have to have. Mm -hmm. But we have to have it relatively soon. Yeah. There was another person that you had in mind to. As a road crew member, I can't remember his name. No, it was Ed Rowell. Ed Rowell. He wasn't. Yeah. I asked about him last time. He's okay. he's one of my so options. He's, okay, he's one of your options. So he's, he's one of my still options. Still a possibility. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to twist his arm a little bit and <laughs> <laughs> to get him, and we may have to pay a little extra money for him, but well, he's worth it. I think he's worth it, and. Uh, I, I haven't even talked to him yet, mm -hmm. but I I did tell him the situation that I'm in, so. Um, yeah. And Greg will be out for at least six weeks after the operation. After the operation, operation right. We had planned for that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I just think I just think with it. He knows our roads. He knows our roads, right? Right. And I've worked with Ed for 28, 25 years, so we we click really well. Um, so I'm hoping I can convince him uh, if I've got some latitude with with payment for him. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, you know. It won't be as much as what we paid Greg, right? <laughs> so. I don't think so. No, I don't, I don't think so. And you wouldn't be paying him benefits either because no. he's part-time. Yeah, there was a time when, when uh, Michael used to drive the little truck and do, like, the parking lots and stuff like that. I did that for a few days in, in an emergency situation. Days, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm just thinking further along down the line because when Greg's out, we're still going to be short, you know. Way down, yeah. And mud season's coming, we're going to need, you know, mm -hmm. foot on deck. So, mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, Greg won't be out. I mean, hopefully, he'll heal up enough so he can come back before his operation. I know that's, no. a, a, you know, probably not. Uh, but I want to be prepared for if the if he's not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I mean we're we're doing it we're getting by um, I'll I'll leave it up to Dave as much as he wants to work I mean he came and he plowed for us this morning and he left at like 10 or 10 30 so yeah. if that works for him it works really good for me you mm -hmm. know if yeah. he can just do a truck get the roads shaped up in the morning and then Timmy and I can do the maintenance and whatever has to be done throughout the rest of the day so if we advertise, are we advertising for another part-timer or a full-timer? I think a part-time. All we got part -time. is a part-time position. Yeah, we can right. until we know what, when Greg's going to come back and ask him. Right. We can't really yeah, so it would have to be a part-time position. Mm -hmm. Please keep us informed. Yep. 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 So are we thinking not to advertise right now? Yep. Sounds like you've got it covered for now with Ed. Well, no, well, we don't no, know. I can't. I haven't. Oh, okay. I let's haven't wait. got an answer let's, from let's Ed. Wait, ten days. Okay. After you talk to Ed. 
Okay. Yeah. That'll be town meeting time. Mm. We can make some more clear choices. Mm. Yeah. And then decide how to move forward. Whether we need okay. to add a position part time or not. Mm. Then we'll yeah. advertise. But I don't want to do it right this second. But I'm in favor of advertising for a part time position. Mm. Personally. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, because we're short, you have to do it right. I mean, if Ed doesn't come along and Dave is is out because of health conditions, then at that point we don't have any part time. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking we should try to get you know, yep. get some in line. Mm -hmm. So I think that, we they won't they won't come if they don't know it's available. Right. right. You know, and I can't. I talk to as many people as I can, but I just mm -hmm. can't. I can't. I don't have the time to chase. Right. So you do know, you think, do you think so it's I, better to get that ad out? I do. SAP? I think yeah. I think sooner okay. sooner is better. Um, okay. Okay. I'll... Let's advertise for a part time position. Yep. Fair enough. Yep. Robin, can you dig out what we oh, yeah. the last mm -hmm. time? Okay. Mr. Key, we already put three hundred and something dollars in to get the town meeting advertisement out there. Right, right. but Brandy told me that Highway has their own advertising budget. Mm -hmm. So we can use yeah. some of that money. We can use some right. of that. Yeah. yeah. Can you use the Highway budget to. Was that the Washington we, World ad? No, Washington no, World ad. That out was of that us. came out of two separate, two separate budgets. Our right. timer will be at a Highway. Uh, okay. Great. One's within the government, the other one's in, under highway. So you did do the ad? And I, was, I supported the ad. And it was 300 and something dollars? 364 dollars and something? Something yes. like that, yeah. yeah. I know you I said yes. I know you wanted to. I did. And I said, fine. And you said, <laughs> and Mrs. Sturkey emailed me and I said yes. So, so we put that up. Yeah. If it even brings two more people one more person into mm. town meeting. Yeah, it's worth it. every penny. Well, Perfect. let's get some talking going to get some. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had, great, we, had great, we had a great, we had a great, we had a great mock town meeting. We did. I got the minutes those, right the, here. Those, those, <laughs> those, 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 those kids were active and vigilant. It's great. Mm -hmm. So we have a town meeting like our ninety minutes of. Elementary school kids. Would be yeah, if we have a turnout as good as they did, because they have what forty-seven kids in the school, and there was thirty-two of them there. <laughs> Very good. All right. All right. Um, okay. So, so I have this document from West Woodbury for West Woodbury from Hardwick. Yep. We'll review that briefly. Sure. If you don't mind. Not at all. I'll sign it. Now or. Later. Could do it now. Could do it now. It's on the agenda. <laughs> it's on the agenda. <laughs> yeah. And we're we doing our own time. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, Alfie, you reviewed this with everybody. So you feel like the three grand is money is still, very still well spent. very reasonable, right? Yes. No changes to that. What they were asking last year when we came to an impasse was like fourteen or fifteen thousand dollars. It was considerably. Yeah. Considerably. Right. Good right. uh, negotiation. Yeah, and that there. that three thousand dollars also gets us one grading between now and mm -hmm. and, and one July project. one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the rest of the plowing service this year, and one grading. And do we and negotiate then for twenty four? No, that's the the contract is covering it's, that. It's covering $6, yeah. the initial. Yeah. Then it'll be it'll be six thousand for. We have a separate contract that'll go into right. effect it'll July go one to July for next fiscal year. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Did they bill for the three thousand dollars yet? No. No. Okay. Waiting, they've been working up there, that. so getting the contract signed and done deal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what I'm anxious about. Is to get it. Mm -hmm. Get it in writing. And Once we sign it, I have to write to Hardwick and make sure that mm -hmm. works. They've been very reasonable, I have to say. They, they're, you know, it's it's almost like they couldn't wait to start plowing and taking care of those roads. Really? It's I don't know. It's just so. Um, 
So let's do it before they change their mind. <laughs> <laughs> Is that gone before the select board? <laughs> I uh, don't know that it has to because they got a town manager. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So you did both of them? I signed one copy. Should I sign both? The second one is the next year's. I didn't give you next year's. No, nope, I don't have next year's. Oh, okay. I kept it. Yeah, that'll go July 1. Okay. Oh, I only have one year. We should try to yeah. do that a little bit ahead, <laughs> though, so that it's so that July one, it's it's in place and Correct. good to go. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, so I have agency of transportation permits that are in front of me right now. Those are the weight permits. Those are the Those weight are permits. Overweight permits yeah. All right. Our excess wage permits, which are ready to be signed. Um, I've signed these in the past with fleet permit permissions. Did you look at these? I'm aware of them. I haven't looked at those particular ones, but I, I mean, I was, I was very much involved of it in Calus when I was down there. Okay. I would like you to review these before I sign them. Okay. Is that fair enough? Yep. Is it? It's just an application, it's right? An the application. town gives an application, and they put right. their insurance. So we have a specific number for max weight. We have timing, and we've requested, and they've finally given us actual policy numbers, because it was a big deal in the past where they just gave these blanket, mm -hmm. sort of open right. statements right. on things, which we were not comfortable with, mm -hmm. right? And so now they're giving us some specificity on the vehicles used and some permit numbers. Um, I just want you to look at them before yep. I sign off on them. I have okay. to sign off on them. Yep. But I wouldn't mind if you looked first. Just take a quick look. Yep. Yeah, I can look right. right now if you want. That'd be great. I'd like that very, very much. Okay, so then from now on out, I will have Pam have an look at him. He really, needs to, to he really okay. needs to see him before he needs to be comfortable with those because this is the person on the road. It's good for him to know who And has he needs permits. to know who has permits and who does not. Yeah, well, they, they all the ones that have been, been signed by you. So I have that. Yep. And that and was, these will just be added to that list. added to that list. Yep. Yep. When, do they, when do they roll over? Is it March? It rolls over in... This is for the now, January 1st is they when they roll over. Oh. Right. Yeah. This right. is the 2023. Yeah. yeah, please, Ms. Brown. So the minutes for the credit card have to state that the board agrees and appoints to put my name on the credit card in order for me to and delete the credit card. So should we need to vote on that? Yes, we have it has to, to be in the minutes. I have to be involved, yeah. All I'm doing is adding me to the account. Um, and from now on, if the highway wants a credit card, it will have both the treasurer's name and... Um, because this is... No, so will you tell me again what it, exactly it's supposed to say, or do you get that? Nobody said it yet. Well, so the minutes have to state that you so, have given we'll your treasurer, Brandon Smith, permission to be on the in. town's credit card. registration number. Greg the Parker's Visa credit stuff card. Stuff coming through the VIN number of the truck. Right. And they finally so gave I think that's that much. Okay. So we have some sense of like yeah. what should be coming through and what isn't coming through. So that and that's then, coming from DMV. This is coming from DMV. Gotcha. It's there for the so the so motion then, was yeah, for the board to approve on here for their liability tell insurance. Tell the bank that yep. we approve and adding down to Smith to, to the Visa account. But that's currently awesome. great card right there. I feel like it's, you're comfortable with it. But yeah, and then they're just, it's, it's, it's I mean, the second person. No, no.
trash. I'm not there. Yeah. I know they're trash. But we do have to. Yeah, so. Back to Oprah. Yeah. 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 I just want you to be aware of these before yep. we. Yep. Well, I can. I sign off from, from in the future, I can view them at the office. If the girls put it together, I can just view it there. Yes. Well, and then you can have the green light as far as I'm going. As far as I'm and concerned. then I'll, I'll review it and I'll sign it. You know what you could do, Alfie, just so, because usually they're in a file, um, is just maybe initial them so that when Chris makes it in there, because oh, yeah. it, it might be after town office hours, so he'll, he'll know that you've looked at it. That you've taken a look at them. Yeah, yeah that'd that's be great. Because yeah. I, I really don't, I mean, I'm good at reviewing those. I have a general sense of the weights. Yep. But I'm not out on the road every day. Right, and right. You are. Well, I'm going to be the guy that. Has to actually kicks, do it. kicks them off if the or right. or you know, right. you know visualizes the damage that they do, all that. So. Right, and so if we have to renegotiate with Swenson, for instance, because mm -hmm. of overweight trucks, right? I want to know some numbers. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I can work with them and say, hey, Cabin right. Road's getting torn up. Yep. Because you guys, you know, have regular overweight trucks. Right. Which we permit. Right. Right. But you're not paying enough for us to keep up. Yep. No, that that's that's true. That's right. definitely and something. You have a better sense of it than I do. So I yep. I do not want to sign those unless you forbid them first. Yeah. Okay. Is that reasonable? That's totally reasonable. Cool. Yeah. I have no problem with that. Great. Thank you. I mean the weight that they put on, like for Swenson, for example, the weight that's on that form, is that the total loaded weight that they carry or is it the It's an estimate of weight of of um, loaded load. Oh. Well, it should be what the truck is rated for, what for. it's what it's okay. registered for, right? Because oh, okay. they have to pay the state on their weight. So what that what? truck is registered for is what should be on here. Mm -hmm. But you know they're overloaded. They're they're often overloaded. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's almost no way. And that's when and that's when if there's an event like they crash through one of our bridges, that truck's going to be weighed. Right. And if they're over their permit here, they're in hot water. Mm. Right. We can go after them for that. Because yes. they've put a illegal number a little here little on their trucks. Right. Yeah. So I just I want the review right. from yep. you. I'll yep. review it as well. It's not on you. I just want two sets sure. of eyes on it. Right. Right. Yeah. So thank you. So Chris, um, Brandy needs us to vote on getting her name on the Visa credit card, and Diana has a motion that she wrote down. We just need you to say all in favor. Just read the motion. Oh, all right. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so Chris, I'm sorry. It's all right. <laughs> you don't need that. Um, the, so that the select board has uh, is authorizing the bank to add the trans town treasurer Brandy Smith's name to the Visa card currently uh, issued in Greg Parker's name. And I second that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 So moved. Okay. So that will be in our minutes. And we're good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's move on to the Cranberry Meadow Wetland Grant Agreement, please. Okay. Well, this is been around on your emails a couple of times, and last at the last meeting I gave you a copy with some notes on it in case you had any questions. Uh, basically, this is just saying that we want the money, but we're still not going to get the money until we do all these different things. Right? But this is basically just so they can allocate the money that's already been approved. <laughs> so any more questions? I had, I had no comments on that for the most part. I was comfortable with that after you had done all that work and mm -hmm. sort of narrowed it down to right. a whole bunch of nonsense that we didn't yeah. really need to deal I with. Know. 
Yeah. There was a lot of stuff in there that well, just Well, I whined a lot, sense. and that's why they said, okay, we'll do this one, we'll do this one, we'll do this one. Well, thank you for <laughs> being proactive. Yeah, so we still, the one thing that we have to do, they said our lawyer's going to know all the stuff that he has to do, and the one thing we have to do is write a management plan, and I met with the Conservation Commission last week, and they're going to help with a management plan. You know, I don't know how much management there's actually going to be. Hopefully none. Sure Hopefully it just gets left alone. Right. Yeah, it just gets left is. alone. Really. I've been uh, managing the water level um, mostly for the road, um, but um, I also had uh, conferred with Susan Sawyer about what she felt the water level should be for. Um, so, and uh, I'll probably check in with Matt Peters too now that he's. He's done kind of a, um, a survey of what's there because uh, he did mention something about trying to keep the water level a certain height. So, I mean, there shouldn't be a road there in the first place, right? Well, you know, when you go around Cranberry Meadow Pond and there's nothing there to keep you from going into the water, and the water is a foot or less away from the road. Yeah, it's a it's a, it's a road in the middle of a. Yeah. And this wetland area, oh, oh, and so. whatever the level is in the wetland area, is this, it controls the level in the pond, too. Right. Mm. So, um, so. I also sent an email last week to Michael and Susan Sawyer and Matt Peters, since they're the ones that are most familiar with the property, to see what they had to suggestions for the management yeah. plan. Yeah. So. yeah, and the Conservation Commission will, will work on that and come up with something. Mm -hmm. So are you asking us to sign this draft no, letter? It's not a draft anymore. So. Okay. So this is our letter? the actual copy. Mm -hmm. And this is the official copy? Yes. And this is a copy. This is a copy of the copy. The copy of the copy. <laughs> I'll put it in the There's a, yeah, there's like I said, if you want me to send this to you by email and... No, I've seen it okay. Okay. Enough, enough times. You just make them deal with a physical signature then. Okay. <laughs> this is great. This has been a project that's been thought about for many years now. Three. Yeah. 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 Well, even, even before, that. before that. Oh, that's Good right. Good gracious yeah. me. Yeah, it's that's right. quite a number of times for that. Yeah. Well, Susan, it's always been a wish of Susan's. Mm. Um, and though it looks like nothing, it's actually a pretty um, significant wetland according to a number of state naturalists, etc. So. It's a significant wetland. Yeah. Okay. Some, some rare things in there. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you for all the work. So, um, I don't think we have to vote on this. We have voted on it in the we past. We've voted on it in the past. We've signed, it. We've signed the uh, we've signed it purchase officially. and sale agreement about three years ago now. Mm -hmm. Michael signed that. So. Mm -hmm. Great. All right. We have to move on to ARPA. We've had some record of new applications being listed, but we do not have any activity from our appointed committee, as far as I know. Right. What, what uh, Laura since prepared a document recently that I got by email, and I think she was going to put it on Front Porch Forum. I don't know if she has yet. I saw that posting. And on uh, the Woodbury emails. Community yeah, Facebook page. Okay. Telling people that there is going to be another round of applications and the deadline is, Mar is May 1st. Mm -hmm. So, I thought this would be a good time for us to return to, to discuss whether the select board should support using some of that fund for. Uh, something that would benefit the town as a whole for some highway equipment. Greater. And <laughs> Chuck and uh, Alfie are going to work on a plan, put together a plan for, you want a truck and a grader or just a <laughs> uh, Well, it depends on how much money is available. <laughs> of course. Well, we appointed a committee. Yeah. 
but the committee has done their work <coughs> and they did a survey and the survey said that the first thing that people were interested in was broadband and the second thing was roads. We've, we've, we're not going to build any roads. We've, so I accomplished, guess that we've accomplished broadband as yeah. best as we possibly mm -hmm. can. Yeah. Right? We did yeah. right by that. We did right by that. Yeah. So next is roads. But there so, are a number of other applications that were in there. Right, that are still, that are still, still pending, still pending and we haven't dealt with. Right. So before we discuss new concerns, even though they were high on the list, we need to address those others. So you mean we need to approve them? We have to do something with them. Well, I don't think so. They can just be in the mix with the new ones that come in. We don't, just because they came in last year doesn't mean that... Uh, they get a higher priority, in my opinion. That's that's yeah. That's uh, one opinion. <laughs> that's 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 an opinion. Yeah. I do think that those applications that have been around for sixteen to eighteen months need to be addressed before we address new concerns. I really feel like we do. Either a yes or a no, but we've never done that. Yeah. We've never actually gone to those, and if we don't do that, the people who have spent, like, spent considerable time making those applications have no way to, you know, they have, they have no recourse. So I think well, before we address anything new, we need to go back through the old. Mm -hmm. So that's my personal opinion. Mm -hmm that we should address all of the previous applications. Yes or before, no? Yeah, as yes or no's, mm -hmm. before we address anything new. I think we have to go through that list. I think it's only fair. Mm -hmm. There are people who have, have, have made reasonable, reasonable applications. <coughs> Maybe we should put that on an agenda for a future meeting then. I really think we do. I think that this is something for a future meeting where we mm -hmm. genuinely address previous applications for our, you know, allocations for ARPA funds mm -hmm. before we move on to new allocations. We've gone through the list and we highlighted some. Mm -hmm. Let's make sure, let's get yes or no votes to the rest and then we'll move on to new. I don't want to leave those lingering. It just seems very, very unfair to the group of people who had applied the first time around. As much as I would love to have Highway get new equipment, I feel like we have to make sure that we've addressed those previous. How many are there? When they're out. There's a, it's very, there's, about there's, six more. there's like six. Mm -hmm. and the fire department wanted all the money. Yeah, that's, and then there's a, that's a significant amount of money, which is fun. When the, uh, there's some town hall and town office energy work that we never really got a good price on. We can't entertain those at this meeting. No, but Not without addressing yeah. those. Not without addressing no, them. I think mm -hmm. that's <coughs> just sharing what the outstanding ones are. Yeah. But I think we have to address the previous outstanding before we move on to new. <coughs> it's only fair. You don't agree with that, so right? Well, tell me why you don't agree. Because I think we should be able to look at this pot of money as something that's going to benefit the town as a whole. That's the reason why these people, the, the board, the committee, agreed to have it in two phases because they thought that every people might come up with more ideas during the second year that they didn't think of the first time. Great. And, and you have a, we still need to address <coughs> You have a thing. deadline. <coughs> hmm? so you have a deadline for, do have a deadline. for getting applications in there. So it would seem like you should have the whole pot of applications together and, mm -hmm. then, and then evaluate each and pick the ones that are most suited for the best of the town. When I see, when I read in the papers about how other towns are allocating, you know, deciding what to do with their ARPA money, it's, uh, they're taking it pretty seriously and trying to spread things out as much as possible to 
infrastructure and new projects and I think we think we need to be deliberate about it. It's not a lot of money. I mean three hundred and something thousand dollars. Not like some towns that are two hundred millions. <laughs> So what do you disagree with? I disagree with having to say yes or no to all these right now. I'd rather say yes or no to them as part of a mix. That sounds great. Okay. Okay. So we should set up a time frame after the rest of the applications are in. Okay. Is that yeah. sound reasonable? Sure. Mm -hmm. So our deadline is May 1 mm -hmm. for the rest of the applications. Right. Yeah. So it didn't matter that people took advantage of the first deadline? No, I mean, if there's a good idea, that's a good idea. Okay. Still a good idea, but... So we're going to have a new deliberation. For 2022... Does anybody have a calendar to know when the first select board meeting would be after May 1st? Uh, the 8th. Oh, the 1st. No, the 8th. 8th. Eight. Eight. I don't think that gives us enough time, I don't. I'm sorry. But, but you could have it soon after, I mean, later in May or June or whatever. No, none of these are time sensitive, really. Yeah. They are, though. Really. <coughs> It would be good not to put them off forever. Which we just did in the past. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, we, we approved the ones as they became well, necessary, although right. some of them were a little early, like we thought the outdoor classroom was ready to be built. And we thought it would be it's... built already, you're right. <laughs> yep. And we've, we've and had some state board of education <laughs> got involved. <laughs> yep. And we made some interesting choices in there. And uh, yeah. things got bogged down. All right. But it should actually, I think that should happen next spring, summer. Mm. I think all of the stuff that needed to be done is mm. done. All right. So let's, let's plan. <coughs> we have a select board meeting on the 8th of May, Monday the 8th. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. Yeah. We do not have another until the 22nd of May. Seems like that's a, getting a little long in the teeth. May 8th is the second Monday? Yeah, no. the first is the first. First, first. 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 Monday. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think that we should have on the agenda on May 8th a proposal review. Yeah. Just really don't want to let this go. We'll have a we will have time. We'll have a week to review any other applications that come in by the May one deadline. Yeah. And we have our pending applications that have been submitted over a year ago. At that point, I think that it's fair for a review and a decision. Michael? Mm -hmm. Diana? Okay. Okay. And so that should be on that agenda for sure. And we'll, we should make Laura aware that that's the, that's the plan. Yeah. I don't recall whether her <coughs> new form that she prepared has the Applications going to the town office? Probably. I haven't seen them. I haven't seen them. Yet. <coughs> I haven't seen them yet. No. Yeah. She said, well... That's, is that what happened before? I went right to the town office? Or did they... No, I went to the group and then... I went to the group and to then... Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, if Steve's sick, maybe she's... I hope they don't have COVID again. I mean, he said in his email that he couldn't be here tonight because he was sick. So. All right. Hopefully she's not. Alright, so we have a plan for ARPA review. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, um, window dressers program. 
So, when we were studying what to do with the town hall, Michael, you want to say how you first got introduced to this? Uh, yeah, um, this was, the window dressers program was first um, introduced to me when we had the um, energy assessments of the different town buildings, the town garage, the town office, and the um, town hall. And it was a person from Efficiency Vermont that came and did that assessment. And one of the programs that she um, mentioned was this window dressers program. Um, it's basically um, a program. I don't know if it's an actual nonprofit or what, but they will um, they come and oversee uh, a program for making um, storm windows. Um, town volunteers actually do the work, they provide the materials, etc. I know Diana um, and Gwen Marsha had a chance to go to one of those um, workshops um, recently. Yes, yeah, so since Michael mentioned this a year or more ago, um, I heard about a meeting taking place in Hardwick. Hardwick wanted to get involved also. Greens, I mean, Grassberry yeah, has nice. yeah. been very active over several years, and they provided a lot of uh, these double uh, plastic storm windows inserts. So I took Gwen and we went up to a meeting in Hardwick, and uh, she uh, volunteered to be the uh, town director, whatever, try to get people involved and interested. Uh, we're going to learn how to measure. There's a laser me a laser measuring tool. So we take if people are interested, we go in their house and we measure what they want, and um, send the measurements off to this nonprofit in Maine that puts together the whole package of how many sticks you need for each window, and and then there's a big community event that involves building actually building the uh, windows putting together the frames and wrapping them with plastic and all that. And, and it is possible to do something that's big enough to, uh, the town hall windows wouldn't be too big. Mm -hmm. yeah. <coughs> so all the other, when we had our town hall committee, we talked about windows a lot, never came up with anything good that wasn't incredibly expensive. So they are interested in coming to the town hall well, it was going to be March 18th, but I don't think we're going to have the water on by then, so I think Gwen's going to ask them to wait until the following month. And we, can, we can have the water turned on any time. Oh, okay. In fact, I have to get hold of Paul so he can turn it off for me for Saturday. Oh, okay. Okay. No. So what they want, what the guy from Hardwick wants to use that as a, <laughs> an exercise for uh, measuring. Bring the measuring students in there and mm -hmm. measure those big windows. What's the cost to us? Mm -hmm. Cost. Cost. Um, can you hand that back to me then? <coughs> Anybody who claims that they can't really afford it can get up to ten free. They don't have. There's no like schedule of you know prices or income or anything like that. Anyone well, who wants three can get a hundred dollars rebate from Efficiency Vermont, but generally a medium size 30 by 52 can be $44 if you pay for the full cost. But there are also grants available um, from different places. Are we talking about the town hall or are we talking no. about public access? No, we're talking about this is just for public. The town hall, I don't know how much it would be. I would say maybe $50 a piece. I or think maybe a large like, form. I think the 70, 70 yeah. something dollar yeah, piece this is going to be a lot closer. Yeah. Yeah. Still, yeah. I know that still one, pretty, pretty the pretty person who did the assessment also mentioned that the town office <coughs> windows could be made for, and that would make a big difference mm -hmm. there. Um, Except the town right. office has shades. So it leaks like a sieve. It, it leaks like a sieve. Anyway, Ms. Brandy? Brandy? So, are these storm plastic windows? Or they're 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 yeah. storm windows. They're storm windows, but they're inserts. And they're plastic. Okay. And they are plastic. They're two layers of plastic, and they're clear. 
But they so they go on the outside of the building, not the inside. No, they go on the inside. inside. On the inside. 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 So if you've got shades, you know, like roller shades or something, then it might you know, be a little tricky. We had our lister delinquent tax collector um, asked me if I could replace the shades in the windows in the. Oh, the that yeah, <laughs> that one that's broken. <laughs> so you can get shades that go on the outside of the windowsill. So yeah, it wouldn't hurt to replace all of the shades. And I've tried to use some. Well, that windows. those little those mini line things are uh, crappy, worthless anyway. So, yeah. so that would be part of the plan. So I figured <laughs> once we proceed with this and seeing the windows, yes. then mm -hmm. go from there. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Mm -hmm. So are you, are you advocating for for us to pursue this? Yeah, I'm really only just um, yeah saying that I hope the book town would buy into this because we're going to be asking Robin for using the town hall and things like that. And the conservation commission, I talked to them last week and they were interested. And a couple of them volunteered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I definitely would advocate for this, and, and if, if it's a later date than March 18th, I would actually be physically able to help. So. Well, when it comes time to putting them together, that won't be till the fall. Oh, so. Okay, all right. Well, I should be definitely very So we we have a few minutes, a few months to uh, enroll people. To, uh, now, Gwen's going to set up a table at town meeting, and Robin said that was okay. We haven't figured out that detail yet, but... Um, mm -hmm. To start handing out, we're going to have some of these flyers printed up, and there's another one that comes from the actual uh, nonprofit in Maine. Yeah. See those shades? I ordered some of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's it. Actually, you know, the this community with a couple of storm windows there. Are those double pane windows, then, or are they just single glass? No, they're single glass. Single glass. Single glass. So yeah. you know, there's a lot of. Plenty of opportunities for Plenty of opportunities. Yes. No. Well, it sounds great. Then. The thing is that you're supposed to take them out. In order to make them last, you're supposed to take them out and store them. Yeah, we'll have to figure out a place to store them. At the basement. There's a way. Office. There's yeah. a way. If we want to pursue this. So it sounds right. like something that's worth pursuing. Yes? All right. Yeah, yeah. Sure, we're pursuing it, and Glenn's going to take uh, the lead. We're having a that's great. measuring great. class tomorrow, and I'm just going to follow along as. When is that? Uh, tomorrow at 3 o'clock. 3 p.m. Uh, tomorrow. At the co-op in the basement. Oh, wow. <coughs> Which co-op? The Buffalo Mountain Co-op. Oh, the old one or the new one? Buffalo Mountain. The new one. The new one? Yeah. Oh, wow. Bill Chidsley, who is the Hardwick Energy Coordinator, he is the Hardwick Coordinator for this project, and he is the facilities manager at the co-op, so he has access to the space in the basement. Mm -hmm. wow. yeah. And how would you even know about that? Unless someone told you. Which? About the, the measuring session. Oh, um, well, ever since we went to that meeting in Hardwick, we've been emailing. Email. Yeah. 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 Oh, but yeah. it's not advertised. No, I don't no. think it is. So it's just between you all. So, like, I would, yeah, have, so I would, far. Have, I would have no idea. Oh, right, yeah, right, 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 right. Gotcha. Yeah, one of the first steps that we're not really there yet is going out for more volunteers. Right. So. Going out for more volunteers by not advertising it. No, it's not. <laughs> I, uh, this is only like the second meeting. The, se the second meeting. <laughs> yeah, I'm just curious as to where we're going. Yeah. Because we have a table at the, we have a table that you've set up. Yeah, that's another, that's right? one and, step, step. Right, that's a step. Yeah, and there'll be more than one training for okay. measuring. Well, yeah. So I guess we're moving forward with this, whether we like it or not. Right? Mm -hmm. Good. Which brings us very nicely into our town meeting and pre-town meeting. Miss yeah. Diana, keep going. So, yeah. yeah. Um, we, I read you that thing from Steve Murphy about uh, mm -hmm. people want to show up at 8, what is it, 8.45 yep. yes. instead of 10 o'clock and tell people what we do. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. I started a list, but I got tired. Mr. Erke, 
what do we need? <clears throat> what do you need from us in terms of uh, getting town meeting all set? The actual, <clears throat> excuse me, the actual setup up in the gym. Donnie's going to take care of that for me. Mm -hmm. Setting the chairs up and getting the tables and whatnot. Okay. Mm -hmm. And does he know that Stephen's going to want to do something at eight forty-five? Well, no, no, that's, that's the pre-town meeting. That's, that's what's going to be in the town hall. Saturday. Town hall for town yeah. meeting. Yeah. Saturday. I think for the pre-town meeting, all we do is set chairs up, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Should be fine. Yep. Okay. Yep. Turn the heat on. And I'm going to go in Friday and turn the heat up. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and make sure the water's on. You know, if he cleans up the parking lot, you'll still need to do some shoveling, probably. Huh? Yes, yes. Well, I'm going to work on the stairs on Wednesday. Oh. Mm -hmm. And it's supposed to... I will also work on the stairs on Wednesday. Well, thank you. Thank you. Tonight, yeah. <laughs> you got to take off? <laughs> Am I usually not helping? It's really... It's a little cold. <laughs> I was going to say, John Phelps helped me shovel off uh -huh. the last time we had that great big, huge snowstorm. Really? He came yeah. over and helped me shovel the ramp and the, mm -hmm. the platform, the platform. Right yeah. the steps, yeah. which was very, I was very thankful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, have we talked to Stephen about anything he needs from us for his pre-town meeting? I mean, he's, he's got it in hand. He just on, need the key so we can get in. <laughs> Fair enough. Yep. And you're happy to yep. work with him? Yep. He's he's great. So. And the podium has the mallet and everything else, right? No. 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 The no, podium not. belongs to the school. Yeah. The mallet is in the little brown box. That she'll bring it that I gotcha. No. With all the well, I need that Saturday? No. 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 Oh, I was gonna say I didn't think so. No. <laughs> he could bring his own mallet. I know we need a mallet on Saturday, no. <laughs> Okay. Might get rowdy. Yeah. No, I think <laughs> we usually have to get rowdy. <laughs> we usually get maybe 12 or 15 people at the right. pre-town meeting, so this will be interesting. Yeah. Give an extra hour. I think it's great. And, you know, Steve and it's on Saturday. Yeah. yeah. Steve right. right after used to basically just go through the warning. Yeah. And, yeah. and um, if there's any discussion, mm -hmm. it would be, that would happen then. I think it's really good, actually. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. Any other pre-town meeting or town meeting business that we need to discuss? Hmm. All right. So it is now 7.02 and we are going to move into executive session. Okay, I'll discuss. make a motion that we uh, close this part of the meeting and Enter executive session to discuss pending litigation uh, as allowed under 1 BSA 313A1E. Do I have a second for the motion? I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We are now in an executive session for the Woodbury Select Board, Monday, February 27th at 7.03 p.m. <laughs>